In this video, we are discussing implementation of KNN algorithm using Python. So we shall be having our code, we shall discuss line by line to give you the better idea that how this KNN algorithm can be implemented using Python coding. Here in this particular Python code, we shall implement K nearest neighbor classification. K nearest neighbor classifier that is KNN is a simple and powerful classification learner and KNN has basically three parts and first one is the YI, the class of an observation that we are trying to predict in our test data. So in case of Setosa, we are having three classes in case of other depending upon the data sets, the number of classes will be decided. And next we are having this XI, capital XI, the predictor also known as the input variables, also known as attributes of an observation. So how many feature variables are there? So that is our XI. And another one is a K, a positive integer number specified by the researcher. And K denotes the number of observations closest to the particular observation that define its neighborhood. So how many observations which are closest to the particular observation or the test data. And for example, k is equal to 2 means that each observation has a neighborhood comprising of the two other observation closest to it. And imagine we have an observation where we know its independent variable x test but do not know the respective class that is the outcome class that is y test. The KNN learner finds the capital K of where the observations that are closest to the x test and uses their known classes to assign the class to the test uh, data. So voting will be done, will be we will be checking that in our neighbors. So what is the class which is having the more vote and which neighbors are having more uh, to the uh, particular class. So that class will be the class of our test data as outcome. So we are importing some libraries here. So import pandas, escalon, import neighbors and then import numpy and then matplotlib inline percentage matplotlib inline because here we will be going for one scatter plot and import seaborn for the scatter plot. So create data set. So here we are creating our data set and here we are having two variables, feature variables. So there is a test one and test two and then our independent variable is that and that is known as the outcome and is our uh, the dependent variable. So we will use this data to train our learner. So we are here we are defining one data frame pd dot data frame will create one data frame object. So the first column heading will be test one. These are the values. Second column heading will be uh, test two. So these are the values. So test one and test two are the two column headings and then the output column heading will be outcome and here we are having the set of values. So how many values are there? We are having 5 win and 5 losses. So we are having 10 records are there. So if you print this particular data frame, it will come like this. So here we are having the 10 records are there, 10 rows are there. We are having 3 columns, 2 for the feature variables and 1 for the respective outcome variable. So now we are going to plot this data. So this is not necessary actually, but uh, because we have only three variables, so we can plot the training data set and the X and Y axis are the independent variables where the colors of the points are their respective classes. So along the X axis, we'll be plotting the independent variable. Along the Y axis, we'll be plotting the dependent variable and then we'll be going for the respective classes. Now here we are plotting the data. So it is not necessary actually, but also to have the better idea that how my data points are there, we are plotting this respective graph. And because we have only three variables, so we can plot the training data set. That is the X and Y are the independent variables and while the color of the points are their classes. So seaborn.lm plot test one, that is my X axis, test two, that is my Y axis data is equal to training data from where I'll be getting my data. So I've mentioned the data frame name and then fit range is equal to false. I'm not going to draw the regression line. Hue is equal to outcome. So we are having the respective, the outcome will be the respective hue. So it will become a legend and also it will decide the color of the dots and scatter underscore KWS marker is equal to D. The dots will be there. Scaling factor will be 100. 
so in this way we have just drawn this respective scatter plot here using lm plot method so here we are having the legend so blue colors are denoting win and this uh, this orange color is actually denoting the loss so here we are having the respective plots so convert data into np arrays so the scikit learn library requires the data to be formatted as a numpy array and here are uh, doing that re reformatting so for this test one and test two will be forming one matrix and for this outcome will be forming one array so capital x and small y will be holding the value so training underscore data dot as matrix so columns is equal to test one comma test two and then y is equal to np dot array training data so that is our data frame training underscore data and outcome is a respective column there so it will be forming one array because it is one dimensional array but it will be forming one matrix because it is having two columns are there test one and test two and ten rows are there so you can i have plotted the i have also printed the card in x and y values you can get it here now train the learner we shall train a knn learner using the the parameters that uh, can observations neighborhood and its three closest neighbors so weights is equal to uniform so can be thought as of that the voting system will be used all the all the respective neighbors will have the same equal importance there so for example uniform means that all the neighbors get an equally weighted and the vote and about an observations class while weights is equal to distance would tell the learner to weigh the way each observations vote by its the distance from the observation we are going to classify so that's why where all the respective neighbors will have the same weightages will be calculating the distances and distance will be deciding the who will be the our closest neighbors so neighbors dot k neighbors classifier so here we are having this object we have already we have defined this this one this class and this object will be clf so neighbors we have defined the respective class we have imported the class i think you can we can recall that is from sklearn import neighbors so this particular from this neighbors we are just creating from this neighbors we are just creating here you can find here i'm getting this okay so from here we are going for this neighbors dot k neighbors classifier so here is the respective class name and here we are passing this three that is a n value that is a k value is equal to three and weights is equal to inform so this is my the respective k neighbors classifier object clf and it is our convention that the classifier object would be the name as clf but this object name can be also different so trend model is equal to clf dot fit capital x comma small y we have already defined the capital x that is the matrix and small y is a one dimensional array so now the training model has got created so now when i'm printing this training model it is telling that what are the different metri uh, arguments default arguments it has taken here we have passed this three and this three uh, it will be treated as the respective what should as the number of neighbors is three and then weights is equal to uniform and you can find that this weights is equal to uniform has been assigned for the metric it has selected the minkowski method minkowski distance function or distance metric now we shall go for to calculate how my model has got trained and what is the score so view the model score how good is our trend model compared to our training data so if you go for the trend underscore model dot score capital x comma small y i'm getting this one as 0.8 so it indicates that our model is 80 percent accurate so applying the non, uh, learner to a new data point so let us give one unknown um, data point here i we don't know the respective outcome so let my model predict that what is the outcome we are going to have so now that we have trained our model so we can predict the class of our new observation y test so let us do that now create a new observation with the value of the first independent variable test one as 0.4 and the second independent variable test two as the 0.6 so test one and test two we are giving the two uh, parameters so two uh, respective feature attributes are there so we are having this 0.4 and 0.6 so now we are creating one array here now we're just making that array available for uh, predict 
we are finding that it is predicting loss it is predicting loss so you know that we are having two outcome classes one is a win and another one is a loss so it is predicting loss so we can even look at the probabilities that learner assigned to each class while while it did the prediction so here we are going for predict proba so one very important method is already available predict and then predict proba so training trend model dot predict proba x test i'm finding that it is it is just getting according to this result the model is predicting that the observation that was lost with the with almost equal to 67 percent probability and the win with almost equal to 33 percent probability because the observation had a greater probability of being lost so it predicted that the class of the outcome the class of the observation there is a unseen observation which was not there in the training data we have supplied that one separately it is predicting that it is loss outcome would, would be loss so in this way in this particular uh, session we have discussed that how this knn classifier can be implemented using python coding thanks for watching this video